Welcome to the Employer Solutions Portal online tutorial. In this tutorial, we will be reviewing how to close a random pool. During the tutorial, I will refer to the Employer Solutions Portal as ESP. We will begin by logging into ESP. At the login page, enter your username and password and click the secure sign in button. After successful login, you will see the dashboard for your organization. If permissions are enabled, you will see the Randoms menu on the left navigation. Select Randoms to navigate to the Pool Summary page. All random pools created in your organization will appear on the Pool Summary grid. To expand the pool detail and close the pool, select the plus sign next to the pool name. In the expanded pool detail, select the Close Program button to close the pool or to close the pool and renew it for another program period. A pool may only be closed if all of the selections to meet the program requirements have been completed. In this example, we will attempt to close a pool with open selections. ESP will present a window asking for confirmation to close the program. Select the Yes button. If all selections are not complete, an error message will be displayed at the top of the page and the pool will not be allowed to close. We will now select a pool whose program requirements have been met. Select the Close Program button and select the Yes button to completely close the pool. The pool will now be closed and you will be returned to the Pool Summary Grid. The pool will drop down to the bottom of the list of pools in your organization and Closed will be displayed in the next selection by column. Expanding the pool will allow you to continue to view the selection history, program history, and group history. To close and renew a pool for the next program period, we will select another pool whose program requirements have been met and select the Close Program button. In the confirmation window, select the Yes and Renew button. The Pool Criteria page will display and allow you to make changes. The program's start and end date will default to the next calendar year but can be changed. Select the Save button to save the pool and return to the Pool Summary Grid. The pool will be displayed on the grid and can be expanded to view the previous group history. The pool is now ready to be run for the next program period. This completes this Employer Solutions Portal online tutorial.